we're talking about doubles and mixed doubles. Now, you may know, as do I, that my passion in my career was singles, but I also learned a ton from playing doubles and mix and had the opportunity to play with some of the top doubles and mix players from around the world. In the later stages of my career, I partnered with Saina Nawal from India. Both of our priorities were the singles event, but we had fun playing together and it actually made us more prepared for our singles. So even if you're just a singles player, you think I'm just a doubles player, be aware of how the, the multi facets of the different games fit together and will make you a more complete player. Playing doubles will absolutely help your singles game and playing singles will absolutely help your doubles and mixed game. So keep that in mind. So today, as we progress through module three of the front court offense footwork, we're gonna focus exclusively on doubles and mixed doubles and how this front court footwork varies based on those positions that you'll find yourself most often in in the doubles and mixed scenarios in an offensive position. So let's recap what we covered back in modules one and two when it comes to covering the straight push down the line. So you'll remember prep jump left, reaching out onto the forehand side. I push the bird back into the dead zone in an offensive way and I reverse back to make sure my foot is on the line to close down this common reply. See it again. Push straight back, and my racket is up, ready for the next shot. Well, let's now take it to that one step. This is, after all, the advanced module. We're, comp we're putting things together, taking things to the next step. So let's now take that next step and think, what is my opponent gonna do with that shot? Let's imagine that they hit it straight back to us. That's what we hope for in which case our racket is up, ready, and we can punish them on their reply because we've got a racket up and alert. Push, racket up, and ready. But if we're playing a more skillful team, they're gonna know that I'm waiting to close down that line push, so they're not gonna hit it there. What they might do is put a soft reply. It's a high-risk shot, but a strong player can pull it off. So I have to then be able to, to move in an offensive way to their soft shot reply. So this is where the next step comes in. My racket is up, I'm a little closer. That's my doubles base position in offense. Forward, jump back, and now the soft reply. So I go straight forward to finish, hopefully finish that rally off by anticipating and being ready for that straight, soft reply. Let's try it again. Push straight back and now back forward. So the steps I take once I'm planted here are to lift the left leg directly out in front and follow up with my racket leg leading. Just like we've done on the different directions, but now we're moving straight ahead. It's one of the rare times in badminton where we do move straight ahead. So most of the time for singles, we're always coming from an angle. But in doubles and mix, we've got our partner to cover. So we can take those risks and cover the lines to optimize the offense. Let's see it in real time. Push. Back soft net, and I'm reaching. Notice how from here, my racket's up, and directly the racket goes as I see the bird there, stretching out, and tap. One more. Reach and back forward. So it's like a V where I'm going back again one more step. Let's see it on the left-hand side. Rackets up, push, I'm back and back forward. Prep, push, I'm back and back forward. Okay, unfortunately, we can't count on 
our opponents hitting straight back to us. So we also have to be ready after I've hit this block on the forehand side to the dead zone that I come back. If a very skilled opponent has the option, they'll take it to pull their reply cross court. So this is one of the most difficult shots to cover because I want to maintain the offense, but that means I have to reach that shuttle before it falls too low. Because if I intercept the bird down here, now I'm gonna be on defense. Because doubles and mix, you have to take the shuttle high at the net, otherwise you're gonna be giving the lift away and now you're on defense. So from this mid-court shot where I'm hoping that I can cut off the reply, if a highly skilled opponent then has the capability to cross the bird, from here, I have to use my longest steps to be able to use this as my prep and then step a long step with my left leg and follow it up with a long step with my right leg. If it goes any further than that, that's gonna be up to my partner to get. So this triangle of the court is what I need to be able to cover in an offensive position. So let's see what that looks like. Prep, left, right, I push it here and they cross it. They cross it to the middle of the court and I still have to cover that and meet that in a high position. And the best shot to hit from there would be just a simple net reply and hover and wait again. Oh, prep, and I push it, I'm back and then cross. You'll notice my racket again initiates the move. From here, I'm up, and as soon as I realize it's not coming here, I've done my prep, and the racket's on the move. And I'm changing my grip and extending out. These are really long kickouts. So this is similar to the steps we take from the base when going to the backhand side. Let's try it one more time in real time. Cover, back, it's cross. Okay, now let's flip it onto the backhand side. So it's going to be a similar setup, but we, what we want to do is be able to cover all the options. So from this midpoint, we've covered the soft reply, the, the mid reply, which is right to our racket, and the cross court to the middle of the court. So let's walk through it on the backhand side. So we're here with our rackets up, prepping, pushing to the mid, reversing, that step's really important to get the shoulder squared up and the outside leg all the way on the line. And now from here, the soft reply, I'll take a step forward to follow up. Here, step forward. So to cover the mid-court reply, prep left, right, jump back, and if it comes to my racket, great. I'm ready and I've closed down the line. But a skilled player, again, will either put it short or cross to the middle area. If they go all the way cross over to this area, that's my partner's shot, and it's a very high risk shot, so not many opponents will go for it. Mid-court, cover, back, straight. Mid-court, cover, and cross. So now there's that long steps again. From the mid-court here, I need to initiate the non-racket leg, left, and kick out, lunge, to be able to intercept the shuttle high at the tape. When I say at the tape, I mean close to the white strip that we call the net tape. Anything more below that, and I'm gonna be converting onto the defense. Mid, back, long steps, go. 
So even as you're walking through or, or shadowing through this footwork, imagine that you're connecting with the bird in the optimal offensive points. So that's gonna be your assignment for this session. To go through both sides, reviewing, it will help you review from what we did in the last module, covering that straight back, because this is essential of taking your doubles and mix doubles game to the next level. A common error that occurs for a lower level player is that after they hit that great dead zone or mid zone shot, they jump back to the middle. And what that does is basically say, after you to your opponent, inviting them to hit down the line and put you under pressure. So it's key that you train yourself after those mid court shots to cover and close up that line. And then now you have the footwork you need to follow up if they do hit it cross. So your assignment will be both sides, I wanna see you go through it slow, medium, and then as fast as you can handle. That doesn't mean your fastest speed, just as fast as you can handle while doing it correctly. So basically that's a series of two shots. So from here prep, I follow up my first shot, shot to the mid zone, and then I'm back here, and you can decide for the second shot, but mix it up. Either it comes to your racket, it comes soft to the net, or it follows up with the cross court all the way over. So what I'd like to see is 10 times through, following up with, that means two shots equals one time, 10 times through of that on your forehand side, 10 times through on your backhand side, and do both of those three times, okay? Twice, or once slow, once at medium speed, and once at your highest speed. And if you're still not feeling comfortable with it, go back and do it again. It's important that we get this down because in uh, this is a footwork course, so we're only focusing on the footwork. But when it comes to other courses, we're gonna focus on doubles and mixed strategy and shots in particular, it's gonna be essential that you understand and grasp these bigger concepts. Awesome work. Till the next time, step your game up.